the simplest building block in geometry is always the simplex. For example, the two-dimensional simplex is the equilateral triangle. And reality seems to be three-dimensional. So if one wondered, well, what would be the simplest building block of a three-dimensional reality? So what's the simplest 3D bit of information? And that would be the three simplex known as the tetrahedron. The more we looked at it, the more we realized that you can model space-time and particle physics with just regular tetrahedra if you discover a code, which you can get from projecting a higher dimensional crystal down to a lower uh, dimensional space. You can get a construct made of tetrahedra where it's highly ordered, but it's not ordered like a checkerboard where it's deterministic. It's ordered with syntactical freedom, where you have to put pieces together this way and that way, but then with the third piece, you have a, an option of turning the shape right or left. That's, that's a geometric code or language. So you don't invent the language. It's uh, given to you by first principles, just geometric first principles. When you take a cube, a wireframe of a cube and you hold it up to the sun and you project it down as a shadow, you don't invent the way that those edges, the 12 edges of the cubes, shrink and fit together in the shadow. It's given to you by geometric first principles such as the Pythagorean theorem relating to the angle by which you projected it to the shadow. You can take a higher dimensional crystal and project it to three dimensions and get a three-dimensional shadow, if you want to call it that. We project a slice of E8 crystal down to 3D, which produces a quasi-crystal code or language. And that allows these geometric symbols to build up to the ordinary world of particles and forces that we see around us. So that's our program, is to model uh, physics with a quasi-crystal code made of the simplest bit of three-dimensional information, the regular tetrahedron.